God bless you, everyone. Um, I'm going to be sharing with you a powerful wisdom seed. But before, call us. If you have any prayer, need, uh, any prayer petition, subscribe for more videos. Let us know for your comments and testimonies below. God bless you. Thank you very much. I'm going to be sharing with you about the um, uh, prophetic alert or prophetic, what, what is going to happen, what God is saying for 2021. Well, like I said, it's going to take a lot of time for me to share all what God is saying and doing. I don't think I have the whole answer because God reveals portion to many prophets and apostles. And if you're watching today, first of all, before we say and prophesy anything or predict anything, we need to have some basis. And the first basis, the foundation for us to predict or prophesy is the Word of God. Number one, every prophecy has to be um, in connection to the Word and according to the Word. Number two, uh, the Holy Spirit. The Bible says in, in John 16, um, 13, and the Holy Spirit will let you know the things to come. In other words, if we want to know the future, the Holy Spirit know it. And the Holy Spirit uses, he uses apostles and prophets like Amos 3, 7 and Ephesians 3, 5. The Bible says mysteries of time and the mysteries of the future are revealed. God reveals those mysteries to the apostles and prophets. So, in other words, he has some agents on the earth. But also God can use anybody. God can use any believer that is open and available for God. So um, the, the reason I'm telling you this is because a lot of people prophesy things that are not in the Bible, that are not confirmed by the Bible. Number one, and where are we now? Before I can tell you where are we now, we need to know where we're coming from. And we come from a year that was very, very tough, very hard. And number two, as a matter of fact, when we go and see the whole 2020, it was a year of, of breaking. It was a year of process. It was a year of testing. I know many of you that are watching are saying, I went through so much. I, I well, because that's part of that 2020. It was the beginning of a new era. Number two, it was, it was a, a year of testing. It was a year of breaking. It was a year of the hearts of men were revealed. It was a year where we saw uh, the difference between the wheat and the tear. Uh, it was a year of shaking. It was a year of reset. It was a year of um, uh, having a historical Passover. Uh, we never had a, a Passover and a feast uh, since 4,000 years ago. Number two, it was a year of Pentecost, I mean, historical Pentecost. Uh, we saw so many things in Pentecost. And we saw a year of where God I put the plumb line. Also, it was a year of preparation for the coming of the Lord. And, and this is what I call it, was a year of defining moments. Uh, moments of defining times. When something, a life, when something, a moment, defining moment happened, life was not returned to normal. So we got new normals now. It was historical change. Also, we see society change, uh, history change, uh, because everything points to the coming of Jesus. Now, um, many of you went through all so many things, uh, painful experiences, traumas, uh, shaking, and now we need to make the transition for the next year. Why? Because 2021 has been tough, but you can't stay there. And for you to do the transition, number one, you need to break soul ties with people, places, and things. If you keep with the same people, same places, you need to break, especially those people and places that uh, subtract to your faith. There are obstacles for you to continue on. So I'm not talking about everybody, but those people that you're saying, Apostle, um, I need to break because they, they don't push me to look for the Lord or to seek God. But on the contrary, they stop my life. Number two, uh, for you to do the transition, you need to put 
pass things, all things away, put it away. And, and you need to make the transition to the new. Number two, so what is God saying for the 2021? You know, um, when we're talking about when a prediction for the future, predict is to say something before it happened. And uh, when we go to the Bible in Matthew 24, 7, and let's go to Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1, the Bible says, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. In other words, this is a new season. This is a new year. And you need to start knowing for you to prepare for the future, for you to be prepared and ready for what is coming. Number one, I will say in one of the prophecies I will release is that it is also in the Bible. But what the spirit is, is making it alive in your spirit, in my spirit, is that the signs, the end time signs will intensify it on the earth. In other words, these signs or what we call plagues or will continue. Uh, we will see COVID-19 dragging on for a little while. And there's going to be a relief, but we will see more signs coming. We will see more pandemics coming. Uh, we are in the season of the plagues, according to Matthew 24, 7. There will be a sign after sign as a machine gun. There will be an acceleration of tragedy on the earth. When I'm talking about signs, these are what the Bible calls the signs of the end time. We will see uh, civil wars. We will see... Uh, um, cyber uh, wars, uh, cosmos, uh, we will see um, uh, wars uh, between uh, cultures, uh, be between races, and because the Bible predicts it, Jesus predicted it 2,000 years ago. So we're seeing it happen. And somebody said, yeah, but we've been seeing those signs before. We've seen earthquakes. Did you know how long an earthquake took to uh, for for that to happen? It took, it was an earthquake, uh, maybe a once every ten years, every five years, every three years. Now is every minute, every five minutes, earthquakes are taking place. What does it tell you? As the coming of the Lord approaches, or we get near to it, uh, we will see every of those signs, every signs intensified. That is the difference. It happened before, yeah. But as we getting closer to the coming of the Lord, those signs will intensify. So that is important to understand. Are you prepared for it? Because we not the world was not ready for this. The church was not ready for this. So we will see more of this uh, civil wars, we will see more shaking, we will see more, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, Jesus said you will see wars among tribes, cultures, countries. Um, there's so many things that is going to happen. And But that's the first one. If you want to know more, we do have, I did what I call the prophetic alert, and it was almost two hours. You can go to my YouTube channel and you will see more. So this prediction, the intensifying of the end time signs, and I speak, I think like five, seven more of what we see for coming for the next decade. So I want you to connect to my YouTube channel. And again, thank you very much for connecting. My friend, if you're watching, you never known Jesus as your personal savior. Are you ready for his coming? Okay, I want you to do this prayer with me. If you're going through crisis, if you're going through a shaking in your personal life, your finances, and you're saying, Apostle, can you pray for me? Yes, I'd like to pray for you. I want you to repeat this prayer with me. Say, Father God, I recognize that I'm a sinner. I repent of all my sins. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is my Lord and my Savior. Jesus, come into my heart right now. Amen and amen. Thank you for doing this prayer. I want you to connect with us. There's a call center you can call.
And also, send me your comments and your testimony. Um, if you have any prayer petition, you can call us today. There's a call center you can call. Send me your comments, your testimony. And also, by the way, Jesus is coming soon. This is my latest book. Discern the end time signs and prepare for his return. This is a powerful book. Jesus is coming soon. You can get it in Amazon. You can get it everywhere. Uh, digital. And also you can get it in print. So God bless you, everyone. And see you next time. Remember, Jesus is coming soon. And I want to take this time also before we get one second. Uh, we're going to have our conference, Supernatural Conference, February 10th through the 12th. Um, it's going to be in our temple, but also we're going to do it online. So you, you, I'm going to speak more on this 2021 perspective or what God is saying. So God bless you. Connect, register. I love you. See you next time.